Hi, this morning I'm going to show you how to resize an Invicta bracelet watch band. Now this is pretty much the same thing for uh, the biggest men's watch to the smallest women's bracelet because I did them both already. You see those arrows right there pointing down and on the other side they're pointing down also but the opposite direction. See the arrows? Those are the links you can remove. And how you do that is the arrow's pointing down. I have one of these regular eyeglass screwdrivers. You know the kind. Um, <clears throat> you're not going to screw these, you're going to hammer these, believe it or not. And you know, you always worry when you get a hammer out when you have a several hundred dollar watch in front of you, especially a ball peen hammer. But that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to put down a cloth to protect it. I should have put that down first. And then you take, you release your, uh, open your band. Okay. Find the arrow. Find the link you want to remove. I'm just going to remove this one. See. Put that there. Or there. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to give it a couple of solid wax. Remember, you have it on a cloth or something soft. In my ball peen hammer, a couple of solid wax, or you could use a skinny nail that size too, you know, if you have one. But this is easier to handle. See that hammer a couple times? See it coming out the other end? Take the screwdriver out, or your nail, whatever you put in there. Then you get a regular pin. Remember pins? They still have them. And you push that out. Can you see it? Push it out. See it? it? Comes out. And I keep it in the direction it came out. See? Because it goes in uh, that way. And look. See? Then you take the one off next to it because you want to shorten the bracelet. A couple more wax on a soft cloth. Oh, I hate doing that. I broke my screwdriver. Do you believe that? I'll be back. <laughs> well, that's what you get for buying dollar store eyeglass screwdrivers, right? Anyway, I got another. Like I said, you could use a, a nail or anything that small that you can hammer. Like you couldn't hammer a pin in there. You know, you got to be something strong. All right, let me tap this. Hopefully, I loosened it. I hate doing that, remember? You hate, you hate hammering a watch that expensive. I hope it didn't stick in my table. It might have. <laughs> I bet you it did. See, so take that one out. Then you join these back together. And then you put this in from the opposite side. This is the way it came out. Skinny end first. Right in. Very easily. Very easily. Wiggle them so you know they're they're connected. And give it another tap with a hammer on a soft cloth. And you're done. See that? So you removed one link. Now if you want to take off two, I would take off one from each side. And most of them have a little adjustment at the end. This one doesn't. You know, they have that micro adjustment on the other type of clasps. Alright, I hope that helped. Well, most Invectives are like that, remember. Okay, it's easy. You can do it. You can do it for free or you can pay $10 to, at the jewelry store or more. Alright, let's see what damage I did to my table. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Have fun. Yeah, there's the holes in my table, see? So when you have your soft cloth, maybe it's good to have some uh, thick cardboard or hunk of wood under there or do it on a surface you don't care about. But always remember what I did there. All right, see you later. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did.